now I'm just getting ready to go to the airport, which is literally right there. I don't know if I can show you like this. Oh, there we see the plane going off. So the airport is right there, Mactan International Airport. And I'm gonna fly to Manila, and then I'm gonna go have a six hour layover, which is unfortunately not too long, not too short. Um, it doesn't really allow you to go into the city, so I'm gonna chill and just do some email, uh, nothing too crazy. But I'm just wrapping up, I'm gonna go check out right now and then head to the airport and wait for my flight. Cebu, it's been fun, but I'm ready to go home. Check out all taken care of upwards and onwards to the airport. Got my boarding pass onto the gate. It's not until 6.45 and it's 12.30 right now. So I can't check in yet. The, the check-in counter is not open. So there's this whole area here that people are waiting for. Let me just show you. So everybody's waiting for their flight and there's nowhere to go. There's literally nowhere to go but wait here. So I was hoping that I could check in or at least go to a lounge or something like that or kill time. But no, I have to wait in the middle of this chaos. So I have to wait till the gate announcement is there and then I can go past through security and then go to the lounge and then do my thing. So I kind of feel stuck now and I'm just gonna walk around and figure out if there's anything fun to do until the gate opens. And I think, or the checking counter opens. And I think, if I'm lucky, it might open four hours before. So if the flight's at 6.30, it might be at 2.30, so I got like two hours to kill. So let's, uh, yeah, let's figure this out. Two and a half hour mark, we finally made some traction. So we're gonna go to the business check-in. Hi. Hi, sir. You can probably see the line all the way behind me. One of the perks when you fly business or first, you can skip the line, you have to wait. Uh, you have lounge access, and it just makes the whole traveling a little bit more stress-free. Totally worth it. Got all my boarding passes, now on towards pass security. Time to walk into the lounge. Just left the, the lounge. So it was the PAX lounge, it was not worth it. The, the Wi-Fi was super slow. It was really crowded, terrible food. So if you're ever in Manila, the PAX lounge, not worth it. But now I'm gonna go and board the flight back to Taipei and then have a two hour labor and then go to San Francisco. Hi. First time business on Eva Air. So they're usually known for the Hello Kitty. Now let me show you the outside of the plane. Pretty colorful as well. Hello. Uh, 9K. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait to be home in probably less than 30 hours from now. Quick tour of the business class. So 
It's not really big. There's no first on this flight, only business. This is my seat. So, plenty of leg room. I have to say though, it's pretty narrow. It's not, it's not like first class where <laughs> you have tons of leg room, but there's plenty of seats, uh, or leg room I should say. So this flight is about two and a half hours. So this is gonna be a really quick flight just to get to Taipei and just have a quick layover and transition over to the next flight. <sighs> I'm really tired, so I'm kind of looking forward to just going home and relaxing and sleeping in my own bed. And I'm really glad and fortunate that I'm able to fly all the way from Asia to back or back to America in business. Uh, so it's not that straining on my body. flight, nothing too crazy, not really bumpy, seats were good, uh, I feel well rested, so I'm a little bit tired still because uh, it's getting nighttime here, so my body feels like it's ready to go to sleep, but I gotta catch the next plane, and I'm trying to figure out what my strategy is gonna be, I think my goal is if I can get five or six hours of sleep on the next flight, We'll be landing around eight o'clock at night in San Francisco. So then three hours later, I'll have my flight. So I'm gonna try to sleep on that flight as well. And then uh, I should be well rested by the time I get to Austin in the morning. Just made it through the transfer security. I don't know why they have that in place. It's not like I'm smuggling stuff. And if I got on the plane smuggling free, then you know, why do you have to check me again? I don't get it. but. I'm sure, I'm sure there's a good reason for it. I'm gonna have to talk a little soft because everybody's really quiet here. So I'll be flying business on this one. I believe it's a Boeing 777, I'm not 100% sure. But I do know I have that seat for myself. So it's a different aircraft than the A380 that I just was on earlier. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're ready for boarding. Indian Airways BR28, bound for San Francisco, is now ready for boarding. Okay, finally seated. So I'm at 10A, literally the last seat in business class. Let me give you a quick tour of what this all looks like. Seating area, and then you can. You're not allowed to store your luggage during taxi, so it still has to go up in a cabin, which, um, as you can see, is still up there. But you're still sitting by yourself, so it's very private. There's plenty of leg room. I'll show you the rest of the business class cabin. This is the seat next to me. Well, let's right there is where the coach is. As far as things that you can put on the side, so you, they give you a set of headphones. It's not Bose, but by Thunder. Haven't tried them, not even on previous flight, because I was listening to some podcasts on my iPhone. So you have some space here where you can put all your stuff, like drinks, stuff like that. You can stow some luggage here. Not luggage, but some stuff there as well. Uh, you have a charger here. So you can charge stuff, light. Uh, this is for the in-flight entertainment. So this is the in-flight entertainment system. So you can't actually drag this out. You gotta push this button. Right? And it pulls out like that. Campaign to start the campaign. Here. They just turned off the seatbelt sign. So we're about 10, 15 minutes up in the air. So far, so good. One of the things I've noticed though is that the Airbus 
it has to be a little bit more quiet than the Boeing. So right now we're in the Boeing 777, which is why the seats look different than my previous flight. I like the seats in this one much, much better. Much more space, much more privacy. Um, overall, it feels bigger and more, more comfortable as well. I think those seats are nicer. So if you're ever flying Eva Air business, go in the Boeing 777. Don't get the A330. Those seats are okay. This is like pretty decent. Now before I get my meal, I'm gonna change into the pajamas that they gave us. So I got the pajamas. I got my slippers. And now, so when they, they're ready to get some sleep and they're ready to pass out but before I do I gotta change into these pajamas so let's do it three two one boom how do I like pretty comfy pretty nice I'm ready to eat and pass out entry. If you don't have it, you gotta have it. Oh man, pass through immigration, to, uh, customs in like two minutes because of global entry, so that was super easy. I couldn't do obviously a lot of filming because they frowned upon that. <laughs> I didn't want to get my camera confiscated. So I literally just cruised through it because I only have carry-on with me. And so now my flight is in roughly four, four hours, so I'm kind of early. So I think I'm gonna go to the American Express Centurion Lounge, which is somewhere near my gate. Uh, but now that I'm back in America, I'm really happy to be back, eating fresh veggies, sleeping in my own bed. So on that note, I'm gonna end the vlog. Welcome back to America, Tan. Thank you for watching all the way till the end, and I'll see you in the next one.